Henry David Thoreau, born in 1817 in Concord, Massachusetts, died in 1862, and is of course still dead today. In 1837, he graduated from Harvard and got a job teaching in Concord. He resigned from this job to protest the whipping of students, and then he went to work in his father's pencil factory. Apparently didn't find the work in the pencil factory to be particularly exciting, so in 1838, he opened a private school in Concord with his brother John. And this school was based on Transcendentalism, which was a literary and philosophical movement supported by Ralph Waldo Emerson, Bronson Alcott, and Orestes Bronson. This view is that this uh, Transcendentalism is the view that there is an ideal spiritual state that transcends the physical and empirical world, and the state is known only by intuitive awareness. On July 4th, 1845 to September 6th, 1847, he lived in Emerson's land by Walden Pond, and apparently set the woods on fire, but they grew back eventually. Now, in his essay on the duty of civil disobedience, he writes about being in prison, and lest you think that he was doing like hard time, he was jailed for one night for refusing to pay the poll tax that was supporting the war in Mexico. So one of the things he's writing against is the war in Mexico. He was also opposed to slavery. In 1857, he had met John Brown and later wrote in his defense. Of course, John Brown was executed. Thoreau died in 16, uh, so rather 1862 of tuberculosis, as of course, as I mentioned, still dead today. His two best known works include the 1849 Resistance to Civil Government also known as On the Duty of Civil Disobedience, in which he advocates civil resistance to unjust laws. His major work, though, is the 1854 Walden, or Life in the Woods, and he presents how a person should live in accord with his own nature, and of course, nature with a capital M. Now, in his own time, he was not particularly well known, but in the 20th century, Walden became a very influential book. And, of course, his work on civil disobedience was applied by Gandhi in India. And, of course, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. later applied these methods back in the United States. And that is the background for Henry David Thoreau.